let's talk about Miss Karina Blackwood and all of your wonderfulness. <laughs> I have been looking at your, your stuff from last night. Um, and, and you have a brand new class. I was just talking about how we, we connected through Facebook and how this whole random internet thing has really brought a lot of people from different worlds together. Right. <laughs> um, crazy. It's crazy, right? Um, but we're definitely learning from each other. And I know that in the level of chats that I've been doing um, recently, we've been talking about the online shift that has happened with dance and fitness. And you are a stretching master. So <laughs> um, we don't. We're not going to do any stretching today. But you have a brand new class. So how is it? that you came up I mean I saw some of the videos where you said we had our our stretching class in New York you know it got booted because of COVID now we're in this whole online platform you're teaching on you know online but you also have this on-demand kind of platform so tell everybody what it's called and how we can find it yeah so I am actually not a stretchy girl so I wasn't born this way. I was like always stiff kid. Never I was able to do a split. But um, I started to do workouts and yoga and Pilates. And I realized how important it is to stretch. And none of us are actually do this in workout classes. Even in yoga, it's more like workout. You feel like this sweat. It's super fast, you know. So it's very different mm -hmm. and this is where I came up with this idea that no matter if you are flexible or not you should be stretching and today I posted on my Facebook that there is a gymnast she's 91 she's in a perfect shape and she was performing like gymnast stuff it was so inspiring yeah. and uh, because we are always in a rush never stretch i created the whole class about stretching and at the same time you'll work out so it's not just the stretch it's workout and a stretch and um, our instructors are professional dancers and ballet dancers and gymnasts mm -hmm. so they know their style they have been doing it since they're like three years old and um, they use different techniques they show how to stretch in a proper way so you won't hurt yourself and if you are dreaming about splits or real or back bands <laughs> they'll are we dreaming teach about you <laughs> they'll are teach you, you how to do it um, and i actually opened this class in manhattan before this quarantine it was offline studio so people would come to our classes. It was so much fun. It was my dream studio. I loved it so much. It was challenging, as you know, probably, but it was so much fun. I enjoyed meeting people, like, you know, making new friends, mm -hmm. hang out, you know, meet the teachers and stuff. But we had to close because of Corona. Mm -hmm. And this is where I came up with the idea to move all the classes online and um, I was actually one of the first who just started doing it online um, and Zoom classes and stuff. But I don't know how about you, but my students and I myself realized that it's so difficult to keep um, doing it online. We all are sitting home. There is family, dogs, kids, I it's know, Facebook ads. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's so hard to keep like, you know, attention on one thing, especially if it's like a workout class and you are at home, you're like, ah, oh, the couch is so close. I want to go open my fridge. Yeah. I don't want to do it anymore. So uh, I created the course because at first I wanted to give people safe structure, how to stretch uh, and not hurting themselves, especially if you're a beginner. And the second of all, I came up with the idea how to motivate people to actually finish the course. And I'm so proud because usually statistically, 90% of your students won't finish online course. You probably like, have you ever buy any online courses? It doesn't have to be like about dance or any physical activities. It can be something totally different. Have you ever buy anything? 
Have I bought? Uh, yeah, I've, I've actually bought a course on um, Instagram influence. Um, and, and so that was a really, it was from um, Hillary Rushford. Uh, I don't know if you know who she is, but I, I took her class on, um, on Instagram um, because I thought, wow, you know, she was a rocket. Um, and so I was like, I identify because she's, you know, in the dance world and she transitioned into, you know, doing, um, fashion styling, which is something that I study fashion journalism. So we kind of had that, like, I was like, yeah, let me see what she's, what she's teaching here. Um, and it was in on, um, it was on a platform. Um, so it wasn't, it, it wasn't like live. Um, so you just did it at your own pace. And that's kind of what you were saying about your class is it's at the person's own pace, right? Well, it can be on your own pace if you want, um, because you get the recording after each class. But I was actually, I wanted to create a community. And I kind of like when you take a Zoom class and people are watching it with you. Oh, right. And your teacher actually can correct your form, can yeah. give you a feedback. You can ask all the questions. Like, you know, it's very important. Mm -hmm. So that's why there are two ways you can take this course. Mm -hmm. um, you can come like on live Zoom classes or you just can watch the recording that you get after each class. Mm -hmm. And I find out it's very convenient. So, and I wanted to tell you that I'm so proud because 80% of my students finish the course. So it's a big oh. deal, you know, usually people don't, <laughs> but yeah. I found the way. We also motivate people by giving valuable gifts so we have three gifts three hundred dollars value two hundred dollars and 125 and it's all like essential items in a goodie bag in a beautiful goodie bag that you actually need for your practice maybe it's like yoga blocks straps yoga mat uh, last time I gave organic cosmetic for muscles like you know cooling cream CBD and a lot of vitamins, a lot of stuff that I actually use in my daily life. And I'm like, why don't share it with other people? And it's just nice gifts that can motivate you to finish the course. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. And I feel like a lot of dance instructors probably are not giving away anything at their class. So maybe they can learn something from you. Um, and especially with, um, with online fitness classes too. I don't, I don't think I've ever even seen people doing that to motivate maybe, maybe a few incentives somewhere, but not as kind of like an incentive to finish an online course. So that's definitely interesting. And hopefully maybe people will learn from you, um, you know, yeah. to try to incorporate that into their classes. Cause that, you know, for you, I, I've never seen an online stretching program. <laughs> so that was way brand new. That's when I, when I saw you post in the group, I was like, I need to write her because this is something I've never seen. Um, and so it's interesting. What do you think are the best practices for people who are maybe just starting out as an online learner? Like, what do you, what do you tell them to do maybe to make sure that they do finish? I think it's very important to know who you're dealing with, the person who you're taking this course from your teachers like follow them on instagram or any other social media platform first to kind of figure out if it's like your vibe yeah. then ask them about the structure of the course i myself uh took million online classes uh, my half of my degree was online uh, because i transitioned through like it was a complicated story, but I took a lot of classes online and uh, I figured that if the teacher like kind of follow up, uh, if he or she asks about homework, we also give, on our course, we give homework. <laughs> so, <What>? yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's a homework and then you can take a picture of you doing it or a video and then yeah. send it to us and our instructors will give you feedback. We can ask in a group chat. We have a private Facebook group for people who are in the course. So it's all about um, structure also because if it's like it's like in yoga class. You know, if you go to yoga class, sometimes they do this, sometimes they do that. 
and you never know what it is even though they're like beginners advanced and like right. some other levels yeah. but still each time it's something different different people different teachers so i figured out if you know the structure in advance you know why you do this right here right now it's right. very helpful so what i do with my students i actually send them what we are going to do each week each uh -huh. class so they have it in mind and we structured our course so first we are just learning about our body why some people are more flexible than others right it's like just by nature and mm -hmm. uh, figure out what your body is capable of and maybe splits are not for you even though you want to do them but maybe your bones your bone structure is different than your i know friend yeah. that's why your friend can do split and you cannot exactly. so we are trying to educate people it's all about education and give them as much knowledge as we can definitely well so um just to wrap up because i know i told you it'd be really short but what is the um class called and how can they find it yes it's called nyc stretching we have a website it's called nycstretching.com it's nyc because we started in new york right. <laughs> and uh, our next course starts on september 17th mm -hmm. and right now we have a pretty good discount so guys if you are like interested and you want a discount i would recommend you to hop on the train right now yes. because we have like also a limited amount of spots because our course is kind of like you can tailor it to yourself you can ask requests like hey it's too difficult or i want to focus on back bands or any anything actually that you want you can just communicate with us and we'll we'll make it that you will benefit it from it so yeah spaces are av uh, available now but they are limited mm -hmm. and right now it's a special discount we have 20 percent off because of labor day weekend <laughs> yay yeah and on september 17th we are starting yay well i'm so cl glad that we met in the facebook group so if you haven't joined the Facebook group for Icons of Online Movement, definitely do because you will meet fun, exciting, and unique people with fun programs like uh, Miss Karina Blackwood. <laughs> um, because I had never heard of what you're doing. I do, I mean, obviously I'm a dancer and I've stretched, but I've never just gone to a stretching class. And I feel like the, even if you're a young person, you probably have a little more flexibility. If you're an older person like me, you need to continuously work on that. Um, so it's definitely beneficial. I feel like a lot of people, if you don't think that you need stretching, you probably do because you're in this whole um, pandemic situation where you're probably online and sitting in one spot for too long. And that is definitely something where stretching can benefit you. Um, just to get up and move around once an hour, you know, all of those good things that we say we're going to do, <laughs> but we never do. Um, so definitely take advantage of um, the discount if you can hop online to get to her website. And if not, what is your IG account so that they can follow you there too? It's bliss, B-L-I-S-S-E-D, happiness. And I'll um, put the website right now here so they can read it. Let me see stretching. Oh, she's going to type it in. Awesome. <laughs> well, so uh, tell me one more thing, because I didn't even ask, where are you from? What, how did you, because I know that I saw your, um, your mini video talking about you looked like this, and it was one image, and you wanted to transform, and it showed you kind of like your after image. So how did you decide to just take on that whole process and become who you are today? Well, I studied hard. I'm originally from Moscow, and then I was studying here in New York as well. And my major is architect. So I was working in the office. <laughs> <laughs> and that was crazy. I was so tired, so unhappy. Um, and my body just looked differently. But it's not about your look. It's about your internal, how you feel about yourself, like, you know. Uh, I didn't even like I didn't think that I was like overweight or like it wasn't my way but it just didn't feel good about myself and um, 
I didn't eat healthy, I didn't work out, didn't do much actually. I did yoga here and there, but it wasn't consistent. That's why I think that courses are a great way, great way to get into good habits. Like, you know, we just know that every week you have these three classes three times per day, or like three, three times per week. And you have to be there just to show up. And then little by little, you just get used to it and you can't live without it anymore. Exactly. So <laughs> <laughs> I think it's what, 30 days to make a habit something or 60, something like this. 21, it's three weeks, 21. exactly what we do. <laughs> <laughs> I knew yeah. you would know. <laughs> and this is where I started to do yoga consistently. I got my certification as a yoga teacher I did Pilates certification. Uh, what else? I um, go to the gym three times per week. So I'm super active. And um, as I start changing my habits and make right choices, a lot of my friends, my ex-friends, actually didn't hang out with me anymore because of like, you know, sometimes they're like, let's go to the club. I'm like, no, let's go to the gym. And they're like, what? <laughs> Priority shift, right? So, well, but now I have a lot more new valuable friends who actually share my values and my interests. So, exactly. I don't regret. Well, that's good. I definitely um, appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. And I know yeah. that people will benefit from number one, just getting up and moving around. And, um, you know, you're an inspiration to me because I, I saw what you were doing, all those. In Instagram images that you have, I'm like, I can't do that anymore, but I'm going to try. <laughs> yeah. Um, and definitely take advantage of going to her website and just checking it out. If it's not for you right now, it might be for you after the holiday, because I'm sure that's when people make resolutions. So <laughs> um, make sure to check it out. I definitely thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. It was really good to talk to you. I hope we'll know each other like even better and continue keeping in touch. Definitely. Well, have a good rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Enjoy. Bye.